Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, today I figured we'd dove into some ABH fun. Yes, I have the new mascara. I have the mini volume three, which I held off on because of obvious reasons. But anyway, I did end up getting them. Um, and yes, so I got out all my ABH products that I possibly could to go with this video. And yeah, if that sounds interesting to you, keep in mind I have a special needs child who is awake this morning. And he's going to make a little noise, but hopefully not too much. And grab a snack and let's get into this video and have some fun, shall we? Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is what the palette looks like when you open her up. I'm sure everybody has already seen this, but... Yes, this this color in the middle here, mm -hmm. this A2, I cannot mm -hmm. wait. Oh, that's glitter. That's not what I thought it was. That's just like a pressed glitter. Let's swatch some of these others. This is the whole um, top row. So that's that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's A1, and that's A2. Three. Mm. B one. Okay. Mm. B two. And B three. C one. C two. C three. All right. Not sure where we're going with this look today, but we're going somewhere. So let me get some brows on and all that good stuff. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's open this baby up. I want to see the stellar package. Ooh, that, that does feel heavy and luxe for sure. And... That's what the wand looks like. Kind of an hourglass situation going on. I don't know how well you can see that on camera. But this mascara, we'll see if it replace, replaces my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes or even the hourglass Extreme Caution I like too. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is called Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. And yeah. Extreme Volume Mascara, bragging rights included. Achieve maximum lash volume and fullness you can't stop bragging about. Okay, mm. and it's jet black. Mm. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get started, shall we? Mm. See what I mean? Mm. All right, so I got my Anastasia Brow Wiz and Dip Brow Gel in. I hate doing my brows. I really suck at it. And it doesn't matter how many videos I watch, I still suck at it. Anastasia Primer. And I'm going to start out with my Royal Lang Nickel Moda Studio Pro, or however you say it. Big fluffy brush. And I think I'm going to start out with, you know what? I'm going to actually take, I think I'm going to take my Sigma E33. Let me take this one, and I think I'm going to dip into this blue color here, this B2, and I'm going to work that just on the first part of my crease here. Um... I like the Anastasia Primer. It's a really light primer, so um, it really makes those colors pop, in my opinion. Um, the only thing is I always end up using too much, and I'm trying to get that worked out. That's a lot of dips in that pan to get that blue anywhere near what I had in mind. You know what I mean? But that's that's where we are, so... 
curious to see in my bigger volume palettes if uh, I have any blue similar to this. I'm going to have to check that out. Hmm. Anywho. I'm going to take this little BH brush from the this collection and it doesn't have any numbers on it anymore so and I'm going to dip into this C3 shade right here I think because I want to <laughs> and I'm going to start working that on like the middle I thought this would go I'm kind of winging this today, like I always do. Just trying to, that is really pigmented. Just trying to get things laid down and see how I'm liking things as I go. You know how the drill goes. But, yeah, that's, that's nice and pigmented. I'm not upset with that at all. And I like how it looks a little purpley where it meets that blue so that's cool go back with that first brush and help mesh those together a little better now I'm going to take this Morphe E17 into this B1 shade right here this one right here and I'm going to put that in like the outer V situation here just to add a little dimension work that just on that lower lash line just in the outer quarter if that makes sense with that other brush like I always say I always go back and forth between my brushes to make sure the blending is staying the way I want it and I may even go in with that C1 to deepen this up just a little more but we'll see where we go um, after this step now I'm going to take that clean Moda brush and soften all those edges up. It doesn't have any product at all on it, so. And then I always use it on my color switch before I go to the next side, just so I'm not muddying up the colors as I'm trying just to soften the edges. You know what I mean? Okay, so I just switched off with my color switch that E17. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference anyway, and I am going to pick up some of that C1 shade and just try to deepen this up a little more. I don't want it. Yes, okay. I like that. You see how that's adding a little, just a little more dimension. All right, so I'm going to take just a little bit of that um, Anastasia primer on the back of my hand with this No Name Wish App brush that I always use to cut the crease, and yeah. Because I'm not a hundred percent where I'm going with the with the shimmers, but I have an idea. So cut this out. Kind of pat it out on the edges because I want it to be good and dry. Because I'm going to go in with my NYX Glitter Primer on top, if that makes sense. 
So let me do the other eye and I'll be right back and do his cup. All right, so I tried to go a little higher than my crease so I could let these uh, colors have some love. But um, I think I'm gonna do the reverse and I'm gonna start out with this B3 right here on my DSO5 from Dominique Cosmetics. And I'm gonna stamp this on the first portion. And then I'm gonna put that blue on the second portion. I don't know how this is gonna come out, but we shall see. Switched off that brush, and I'm gonna pick up some of this A3 on the opposite side that I actually had that pink on. And put that in the center here. And just kind of go back and forth, like I always say, till you're happy with the way it's looking. All right, I'm gonna take that E17 and dip back and forth into these two shades here and make sure we're buffed out on these outer corners. I know this looks a little crazy, but it's going to come together, I believe. I believe. Maybe not, but I believe it will. So, <laughs> I wish that pink was just... I think I'm going to use my finger and pick up some of that pink. And just try to, because it's trying to get a little too dark on me. Okay, let me put some, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to take this glitter shade right here, this A2, uh, and I'm going to pop it on the lid. Just to add a little something, something. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, but we're here now, so we're doing the other eye. Maybe dip my finger into a little bit of that blue and intensify just the outer part. You know what I mean? Yes. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put some liner on. I'm going to use my ABH liner, which is in my little cup here. And, yeah, we're going to do a little liner situation. <laughs> All right, I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation on, and I have to, of course, because I got too dark of a shade, mix it with some of my Tarte found sealer that I got that was too light so I have that going on and I'm using the Urban Decay Stay Naked 30 NY concealer and my trusty elf sponge that I love so much so much yes and we're gonna get her blended out um I try to, when I do videos featuring a product, if you're new here, I try to use as much of, Anas like, because I'm using Anastasia today, I'm going to try to use as much Anastasia products as I have on hand, just to make it interesting, but I certainly don't get anything for free. Nobody even knows I exist, so 
um, you don't ever have to worry about my, uh, even if it was sent to me, I mean, I had a lash company the other day, um, talk to me about sending me five free pairs of their lashes and blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to name the company or anything like that. I should, but, uh, I'm not going to because I don't want to start drama. But, um, so anyway, I was like, yeah, I'd love to try your products out, you know, and I'll talk about them on my channel and on my Instagram and all that. And, um, I do have to be honest with you that I'm, um, I only give my honest and fair opinion and I never heard back from them. <laughs> Like, they were gone with the wind. <laughs> anyway, so we're taking the Anastasia setting powder in vanilla. Um, and we're going to set everything down with my Tati Blendiful. Because like I always say, I do like this for powders. So. I think this is awesome for powder. Got my Anastasia Contour Kit. This is light to medium and just a little. Whew, it looks like I dropped it. Anyway. Anyway, so what I was saying is um, yeah, I'm never, I don't care who it is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Jeffree Star Cosmetics, Lunar Beauty, some of my favorite, favorite brands. I don't, I probably will never, well, nobody really watches my videos, so. <laughs> I probably, they're probably not interested, they'd never be interested in me anyway. But even if they were, I don't think they'd be interested because I'm, I'm not going to lie if I don't care for something but just because I don't care for it doesn't mean that you won't care for it if that makes sense because there's been stuff that I like subculture that's a perfect example not very many people like the subculture palette and I I do I like it I like my subculture palette is it the easiest to work with um no but can you make it work yes and I like some of the I like a lot of the looks I've done with it so I mean, it's <laughs> kind of personal preference, and, yeah. But I thought that was funny that they never, and it showed that they saw the message even, and they never, never said another word, and I thought that was funny. So, anyway. Mark Jacobs Omega Bronzer in 104 Tantastic. one of my favorite bronzers. <laughs> Actually, but I've been really digging cream products lately, too. I just don't have very many cream Anastasia products, so hopefully my face won't be burning by the end of the day, but it probably will. But that's okay. Because if my face ever becomes oily again, I'll be really happy about it. <laughs> anyway... Okay, this is the Pink Passion Blush Trio, and I think I'm just going to go with a little bit of the mauve, maybe a dab of the pink in the middle. So, I kind of just want a kiss of blush today. Or not, just a bunch of blush. <laughs> It's not too bad. What are you guys excited about that's coming out? Anything? I'm just curious. 
I'm excited to see what Lunar Beauty is coming out with. I'm excited to see what Jeffree Star is coming out with. Yeah, it's kind of kind of cool, I think. But anyway. Now I had very little of my MAC Fix Plus and my Anastasia uh, spray, so I kind of just combined them. So it's kind of Anastasia and kind of MAC Fix Plus. <laughs> And not spraying the greatest, but yeah, I just soaked my face. So <laughs> that's all right. We're gonna press all those products into the skin. All right. So before I finish the rest of my face, I'm gonna do a little to this lower lash line. I'm gonna take my ColourPop E11, and I think I'm gonna dip into this. C1 shade. Let me take this off because I I like mirrors in my palette just for doing my lower lash line. Isn't that weird? But I'm just gonna stamp this where I had that those shades blended out on the bottom anyway. Because I kind of want to go in with this green. Morphe M321 and into this C2 shade because I know I can use every shade in this palette and I fully intend to try. Why not? We don't have anything better to do. I hope you guys are doing well though. I mean we're just chilling. Thomas's cold seems to be, I'm hoping, getting better. That does not look like it does in the pan to me. Okay, I guess if you put a ton on. You take just that clean brush that I was using at the top. I better make sure I wipe that off because it does have some pink on it. And kind of buff along that green shade. Morphe E36 into the only shade, oops, <laughs> into the only shade we haven't used yet, and that would be A1. I'm going to put this on my brow bone and on the inner corner. Holy cow. Okay. Kind of didn't want it that prominent, but Okie dokie. I love that pink shift that that has. That, a lot of brands have been doing that with these whitish colors. They put like this pink shift in it. And I think it's cool. What do you guys think? I like it. So I decided to go with I believe this is Zulu. Yeah, Zulu from ColourPop for my waterline. Try to bring that green out a little more. <laughs> Hopefully that'll happen. Use my Jaclyn Cosmetics in Do Me to buff my face. I love, love, love her luminous powders. I actually repurchased this because I fully, fully, fully intend to not run out until she decides to make this permanent item. Jacqueline, wish you knew who I was and I wish you valued my opinion because this, this was a hit for her, I feel like, and it's limited edition and my brain is having trouble understanding that but I guess it is what it is got my glow kit I think I'm gonna use a little bit of marshmallow and starburst I'm gonna just mix those up and go to it mm. I 
like these. These are one of the first highlighters I ever tried. So, they're kind of, yeah, have a special place to me. Oh. If it wasn't so hot, I would never run that air because it is so noisy. But it's, yeah, I live in Florida and it's always hot here. So, just saying. See how it gives just the most beautiful, subtle situation? Mm -hmm. Yes, Thomas, yes. All right, lashes. All right, so I have my So Hollywood Lash Dry in here, and let's let's play with this baby here. Yeah. So this is supposed to be super volumizing, and I definitely can use some volume. So let's see what one coat gives us. And I will let you know somewhere in this video <laughs> if this crumbled on my face. Because that's my biggest issue with better than sex. Um, do you guys see that? That's actually a pretty nice mascara. Okay. God, I hope this doesn't crumble on my face. I know the last thing I should be buying is mascara with all the mascaras I have, but I wanted to try this. I thought it was going to start getting clumpy on me, but it evened right back out. Yes. Okay, let me put my, um, wow, I can't believe this. It's just two coats. Let me put those lashes on, and we'll pop some mascara on the lower lash line and get to some final thoughts. Okay, so my camera went dead and the news conference came on about all the crap, so I had to stop and watch that. I changed my shirt to go a little more aesthetically pleasing with my face. And yeah, I think this is a fun, I'm sitting at home, so let's play sort of moment. And yeah, I'm going to start out with the mascara, I think, because I like mm. this mascara. It's been about an hour since I started mm. filming, and I have no crumble yet, so as long as that mm. holds true, mm. I really like this mascara. I'm going to use it with my mm. Lancome um, mm. lash primer and see if I could actually get away with mm. not wearing lashes with it, so stay tuned for that. The palette. 
Okay. Mm. As far as the palette goes, mm. it's cute. I mm. enjoy creating this fun little look. I can think of other looks I want to do with it. Mm. The problem I have is this green and this mm. blue, I definitely had to, I felt like mm. I had to keep going and building it up. They are pastel -y shades. Mm. So, I mean, take it for what you will. Mm. But they are, they are something I recommend building. Um, mm. <laughs> of course, I don't think you absolutely need anything. It's more of a, if you like it, get it. If you don't, don't. This time of our lives, I would say don't buy anything. I'm not buying anything else, period. Mm. But mm. you know how that goes. Anyway, I had a lot of fun creating this eye look. I mm. always love playing with makeup. It's my escape from all that stresses me out. Turkey. Mm. But, yeah. So, I'm going to mm. continue making videos. I'm going to continue having a good time and bringing a good time and good looks to you mm. out there so i'd like to take this time to say if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching my video i really appreciate your time mm. i hope you enjoyed this mm. as much as i enjoy making them mm. for you <laughs> that being said um i hope you'll consider hitting the like button mm. and subscribing to my channel if you're new because i'd love to have you around for future videos and uh yeah that's going to wrap it up. Mm. I hope you're having a wonderful mm. night or day wherever you are. Mm. Lots of love for me and Thomas mm. to all of you. And we will see you on the next Teresa Tries Tutorials. Mm. Bye, guys. Mm.